It's as if Ra has descended upon us. Hey guys, Fedor Bobo here, and we are doing a gift from the gods. A crazy thing just came from the sky. It's as if Ra himself back said, so let's uh let's see if it's Ra or perhaps some crazy crystal from another world. Let's uh mother crystal this one up. Ooh yeah. The fireball has revealed an entrance to this tomb. <gasps> Can I touch this it? This is a sign from the gods. Fallen star, a large stone glowing blue that fell to the earth from the sky. Cool. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's target. Yeah, X to V. So that's the game that they're kind of like doing. Could this be referring to a sundial? I wonder. This number seems important. <laughs> the game that they're doing a collaboration with. I don't like interrupting the game, but I can help it. Explore the tomb. I It just gave me the check like I explored the tomb. That was fast. <laughs> okay, press the button. Press... This number seems important. Am I... Am I attacking it? Am I... Am I too stupid for this? Alright, ready? What is... Is five, and then... No, that's ten, and that's five. Because, of course, it's fifteen. Did it hit it? No... Solve the sundial puzzle. Oh, do I go outside? Okay, we gotta solve the sundial puzzle. Where is the sundial? Ooh! Hey, actually, could I, could I get some arrows? Thank you. I remember seeing this and going, "What is it?" Do I have to wait a specific time? Because the, the, this was pointing this way. Alright, and I don't have, what was that? Resting? I don't have it pointing upwards. Is there something in these that I touch? No. Huh. Uh, I was just playing with the time. Um, okay, so you had the three marks, right? The three brown dark marks on the map, or whatever you want to call it. And there was the in-between blue marks, too, though. That could be these lines, but I think there's too many of these for that to make sense. And each one points to a stone. Could I... Green, 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 and then what? <laughs> and, then, and then what? Do it again. Oh my god. Oh! Alright, alright, alright. One. Green is good, I'm assuming. So, whatever. Oh shit, hopefully that was green. Alright, and then here. And it's not that one. Or sorry, this one. So we try this one again. Oh! I still don't understand what I did. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. All right, what did I do? Reach the light shining up to the gods. My Ra. What have I done? Ah, oh, shit. Also, out of st check the tomb. stupidity's sake, let's try this. I'm gonna become one with the light. <laughs> maybe because maybe this is like a it's not not that great of a photo but like you're probably not gonna get this one very often so <laughs> yay oh I got achievement reporter neat let's go in the tomb whoa Oh, I like I liked it that I don't have to like look around. We just go straight forward to this. It's doing a walk animation for me now, which is cool. I'm fine. Oh, what the hell? Oh, you doorkeepers who guard your portals, who swallow souls and who gulp down the corpses of the dead, what a journey I have made. 
the things I have seen. I am but one of you. Mm. Touch it. Touch it. <laughs> that seems like a wise decision. Oh my god. Actual character from Final Fantasy. I really want to play 15, but I haven't. But I'm pretty sure it's a, a villain in 15. Oh my lord. Holy shit. This crossing. Oh my gosh, those are weapons I get to use? Oh, and I love the fire just goes on to it when I grab it. That's cool. I'm also a big fan of Fancy Fan though, so. Oh! Uh, oh no! They got a Chocobo! <laughs> I'm nerding out. Alright, let's go take him out. Hopefully, uh, I didn't get to see it for very long, but it, it definitely looked like um, they weren't leveled up, so we might have to go level them up. Well, let's go slap it on. Oh, it, it automatically put them on. Okay. Okay. Uh, pretty good critical hit, adrenaline regeneration, health for critical, uh, so almost a health on hit kind of scenario. Pretty good weapon. Uh, oh, they did make it like as near as good as health on kill, health for kill. I guess it just depends on how good that uh, health for critical is, but the adrenaline regeneration on a, um, on a sword is pretty cool. Cause then you get the throw ability, which is awesome. Unless you're on too high of a difficulty where you can't use it ever. All right, and the shield, range resistance, damage absorption rate, bleeding on block. So not bad, not bad. Uh, one more quality, but same HP. It does, I don't, I, I'll be honest and just say, I, oh, oh my God, I'm not even comparing the right ones. Freaking retard. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay. I'm like, huh? Okay, yeah. No, uh, here we go. Try again. <laughs> range resistance four. So same range resistance, but the difference is this damage absorption rate is comparable to this one. So it's better than the the sleeping shield. Oh, uh, but the tomb protector is also better than the sleeping shield. Bleeding on block versus sleep on block. Um. I'm not sure which one you would prefer. Uh, the sleeping's kind of cool, but if you're in a really f frenzy scenario with lots of people, you might have accidentally wake them back up again. Uh, but it does unlock assassinate uh, opportunities when it's just one on one. So I'm not sure which one you'd, you'd like generally prefer, but it, it is a definitely a, an acceptable shield. There's there's no issue with it there. But then we got a freaking Chocobo! Also, these look kind of cool, so. Oh! That's nice. They gave it a cool particle effect. I wonder if the team, uh, Final Fantasy Square Enix team, worked with Ubisoft. Ubi? Ubi? Uh, to, to make these. The effects were quite nice. They, the ah, I like this. That's cool. Chocobo? Now, if they made the Chocobo theme song when you stood on it. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's, it's a camel bow. Oh, that's cute. I kind of wish it was a chocobo, but hey, it's. Although that sword is not realistic at all. But the chocobo would be less realistic. Let's so get on it. Whoa. They should have put the chocobo's theme song in there, though. That would have been freak. <laughs> it's, a, it's a camel bow. That's cute. Uh, I don't know. Um, 
Alright, are we are we going as fast as we can? Hopefully they they gave it a, a good speed. It's not like a Does it have like a really slow build up time? Or is that as fast as he goes? Cause that does feel slower than the horses. But you have to keep in mind, I don't know about this one, but camels usually are much harder to knock down. So perhaps they'll, is this a, is, is this a place that we can test this stuff on? Could, could we, could we agree with some enemies? Could, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, let's go throw him in some fighting scenario just to see what it's like. Hey, some hyenas right here. Let's do that. What's up, guys? Attack my horse and let me know if how how good it is. My camel, not really horse. I don't know if it's damage based, but. I mean, I'm not falling down, so that's cool. I I think he's got pretty good endurance. Normally, I think I would have been knocked down by now. Like I've lost a lot of HP. <laughs> I might need to just slowly kill them by running through them. All right, let's let's check out what the adrenaline adrenaline rate feels like. So we're in fight, and there's the uh, regeneration down at the bottom. It's not bad. That might feel pretty good in uh, the arena. No, no, no. Let me look. Let me look at. Yeah, I like that shield. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, obviously, you know, if you wanted completely theme uh, themed Egyptian stuff, then these two weapons are not your go-to. But uh, hey, it's a single-player game, so you don't have to feel bad when like people say, you know, play your way. You just don't don't do it. Don't use it. In multiplayer games, I hate that argument because then like everybody else is using it and it's ruining your experience, anyways. But like, it's single-player. You don't like it, you don't touch it. That's all. I think it's pretty damn cool, but I'm a Final Fantasy fan. And I, I like my my Boko, my my Camelco, my Camelco. I don't know. <laughs> like, come on. Now, does he actually have a beak or is it attached? That's that's we're asking the real questions here. It. Hey. 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 <laughs> Stop. Okay, I want to say that's not an actual beak. You know, I'm not even sure. Because that's leather right there, right? So we have the leather texture. And it doesn't look like leather. So it's 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 the rare and wild camel bow. Uh, let's read the description on it real quick. Quee! This enigmatic creature's tremendous speed was once used for racing. Tremendous speed. Um, yeah, about that. I don't think it's that fast. But we got Ultima Blade and the Zydrich. I uh, always Ultima Blade, probably not so much. But whenever you get Final Fantasy stuff, and e even other RPG games, especially JRPG games, they love like pulling from. Uh, lots of cultures and that's something I'm a huge fan of so uh, When you get your summons your primals and your weapons and stuff You always get to look them up online, you know slap them into Google wiki whatever you want and uh, Usually there's some fun story uh, whether it's mythology or they're like they actually use real weapons and names and stuff So, so slap Zydrich into Google and see what you get it might just be big freaking shield in like German or something. I don't know, but <laughs> sometimes they have some mythology to them. Anyways, have a wonderful day. I appreciate you guys checking this out, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. My voice cracked. Ooh. <laughs>